Hey guys, this is Andrew Perlot with rawfoodhealth.net and today I want to tell you a little bit about plantain ripening. Now, plantains are technically of the same species of, as bananas. They're not a separate fruit, but uh, where they really differ is in their water content. And plantains average roughly uh, 65% of their content from water, but bananas on average are about 83% water. And hydrolysis, which is the process by which starches get converted into sugars in fruit, happens quicker in higher water content fruit. And so what you see is that there's a dramatic difference between the ripening time of a banana and that of a plantain. Now, plantains are interesting because they're more calorically dense than bananas. They frequently are lower in price per pound than bananas. And uh, so if you can master the ripening process, you can actually get a, a really tasty, low cost source of calories to help you on your raw food diet. So uh, the taste of a plantain, if you've never had a ripe one or you've only had them cooked in a starchy state, is interesting. It's definitely different than bananas. It's more dense. It's more sweet. Some of them actually taste vaguely like pumpkin pie-like, uh, though I realize, you know, that's kind of a weird statement to make. Um, so what you have to keep in mind when ripening plantains is that it's more challenging than bananas because uh, what happens is um, these bananas will go from completely green to a ripe enough state to eat in 7 to 11 days and obviously that depends on the weather. Is it warm? Is it cold? What's the humidity level? Is the ethylene gas that's being produced by the fruit being trapped around the fruit or is it just dispersing? That kind of a thing. And it's similar for plantains but I've had plantains that have actually taken like three to four weeks to ripen. And as you can see, whereas if you got a banana that was this black it would be completely bad. But when it's when a plantain is this ripe, it's actually just approaching perfection. So um, now what happens, what you have to be careful for is you want to avoid having the plantains get moldy. So they have to be in a very well ventilated space. If the weather is very humid, you're going to have more problems with mold and such. Um, so it's best uh, actually, I've had good luck with ripening plantains in the winter, even though it's colder, it takes longer because uh, heat he, uh, quickens up the ripening process, but they're less likely to go moldy in a drier environment, less humid. Uh, and um, so basically, you just gotta um, keep them in a nice area that's well ventilated. Some people will say expose in the sunlight. Frankly, I've been too lazy to do that, never really um, experimented with it. but. Uh, uh, if you can do it, it really uh, is, is worth your time. So, as you can see, um, very, very different. The consistency, when it's completely ripe, is very squishy. Squishier than this banana. Quite a bit squishier. But as you're testing it, I do not suggest that you prod it a lot. Because if you start prodding it, it's in like um, pushing in the flesh a lot, it's going to go bad and you're going to attract fruit flies and such. So, um, you might notice that there's some mold that, uh, or, or just uh, some mildew, I guess, growing here, and this is the problem. And because I kept it in a well-ventilated space, the ripening didn't take, it didn't, it didn't um, grow all that much and become an actual problem. It's just on the outside of the skin. There's no problem on the inside. But had I not paid attention, had I put it in a, in a really wetter space, um, it would have been. So... You can just slice open a plantain like this. And as you can see, it's got a nice yellow tinge to the flesh. And um, you can easily add these to smoothies or eat them plain. Really tasty. And one thing I want to mention is that plantains, by the time they've gotten this ripe, which is way, way away from being totally ripe, 
just so you know, this is nowhere near being ripe, even though it looks like if it was a banana, it would be ripe. But you can usually find them in this state or less ripe even, being sold in overripe bins in grocery stores. And they're usually like, they've been cut to 25 or 50% of their initial price. So what I'll often do is I'll just go to the grocery store when I want plantains and just go to the overripe bin. Because most people don't know that you can actually ripen them. They just assume they're just for cooking, they're just starches. But they're just, they can be just as sweet and amazing as any banana. So uh, go get them cheap. You can also go to your wholesaler and buy them usually at a lesser price per pound than bananas. And uh, just go to town on them. Thanks, see you later. For my article and picture guide on how to ripen plantains, including more tips, check out my article at rawfoodhealth.net. You'll find a link in the video notes.